What's up, Titty Gang? It's your girl, Titty Graham, back with another video. As y'all can tell by the title, we're going to get into Mental Health Monday, where I give you guys a couple of tips that can potentially help you with your mental health. Before we get to it, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and y'all, let's get straight into this video. So the first thing I have for y'all is to exercise. Start the week with a walk or other physical activity to boost your mood and energy. I typically like to work out through the entire week to at least do something. It doesn't have to be a crazy long workout, but just something to make you feel better. I know it's very hard when you first start working out again after you haven't done it in so long, but I promise you if you stay consistent, it'll help out in the long run. Another thing, eat well. Eat healthy meals and stay hydrated to improve your focus and energy. I can't stress this enough. Since I've decided to stop eating fast food and junk food in general, it's been about two years now. It's literally been since the pandemic. And it's just crazy how much my life and body has changed since then. And I do feel like that definitely helped a lot of my mental health as well because I'm able to control what my body looks like by picking and choosing what I can and will not put in my body. Another one is to sleep. Get enough sleep by sticking to a schedule and reducing blue light exposure from screens before bed. I do agree with getting enough sleep because that does dictate how your mood is for the entire day. Um, I know it is kind of hard to stay off your phone before you go to bed or even watch TV, but try to limit it as much as possible just for that reason. Next one is practice mindfulness. Try meditation, breathing exercises, or other relaxation techniques to focus on the present moment. I genuinely do love that I used to do self-care Sundays. I need to get back into it, I'm not gonna lie to you. Doing self-care Sundays was so awesome. It was literally just me relaxing for 20 minutes, doing a face mask, doing a lip mask, just listening to spa music, like anything that would just take me away from reality for 20 minutes. It always did the trick and I really do need to get back to that. I'm not gonna lie. Another one is plan enjoyable activities. Schedule time for activities you enjoy, like reading, painting, or playing music. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm always sit here and play some music. <laughs> I don't care if I'm cleaning. I don't care, like whatever it is I'm doing, I'm gonna put some music into it, okay? Because I love playing some music and I love dancing. So you, that's why you always gonna see me playing music and dancing at any given time, mostly. But yes, definitely give yourself some time to do things that makes you happy. Yes, we all work. Yes, we have responsibilities. But at the same time, you need time for yourself where you're not going to be the best version of yourself for whatever you're going through, whether it's personal, work related, anything. If you are not where you need to be mentally, you're not going to succeed in whatever it is you're trying to do. Next is set goals. Decide what needs to be done and what can wait. I have actually been really good at doing this. I'll literally plan in my head, okay, this is what I need to do. This is what needs to be done. What can I get done today? And what can wait till like the next day or the following days? That way I'm not overloading myself and I don't feel as stressed. And, you know, I can actually be like, okay, you know what? I didn't get this done today. It's fine. I'm getting it done tomorrow. It's not so important to where if I don't get it done today, I'm losing my mind, you know? So it is very, very important to strategize the most important things to do in a day and do a list of, okay, if I don't get this done today, I need to make sure I get it done tomorrow. That way you're not procrastinating. Next is practice gratitude. Remind yourself of things you're grateful for. And I try to do this a lot <laughs> because I journal. I don't journal as I used to journal, but when I do journal and I do write things and say things that I'm grateful for, it just makes an entire environment so much better for me because I'm speaking out what I want to happen. I'm manifesting everything that I want. You don't really realize what you say you manifest until it starts hitting you in your head like, oh my God, 
I literally said this a week ago and this is happening. You know what I'm saying? It's so crazy how it works like that. But you got to be very mindful that what you say does manifest in one way or another. Next, be mindful. Be open-minded. Try to go into situations with an open mind and heart. I know it's hard. There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of bad things going on. But don't assume so much because that actually plays a part into your mental health as well. When you feel like you know the answers to everything and you just automatically are quick to think of any negative feeling or negative situation, that plays a part on your mental health. And you want to try to be as much positive as you can so you can have a healthy life. Next, let's take a break. Look, don't work through your lunch break. I know I've never done it, and I probably never will. I'm not about to. Baby, once I clock out, I clock out. It is what it is. But it, it, you need to not only just for work take a break, but mentally in your personal life, take a break for yourself. Like, for me, there'll be times where my boyfriend wants to be with me, and I'm like, nah, I need my time by myself, you know? Like, I don't have a problem with coming together and doing stuff and being around each other, but there comes a time where I need my own space, baby. I need me time. I need that for myself. In order for me to be the best version of myself I could possibly be before you, I need my time by myself, and that's okay. Never let somebody make you feel like you have to be a certain version of yourself for them to make themselves feel good. No, you need to be the best version for yourself to make yourself feel good. If you feel like you need that time to yourself and they have a problem with that, then that's on them. Never sway your values for somebody else. So make sure you take a break. It don't matter how long a break, it be a 20 minute break, it could be an hour. Just take some time for yourself during the day at all times. Another one. Make a self-care kit. So like I said, put together items that comfort you and help you relax, like a stress ball, your favorite book, or a blanket. In my case, it was the face mask and relaxation music. Anything that will help you feel comfortable and relax, like I said, for not even just 30 minutes. It don't have to be 30 minutes. It could be a little longer or a little shorter. It just depends on how much time you are willing to give yourself to make you feel good and better about the day do whatever you have to do last one i have is check in with others if you notice changes in somebody's behavior ask if they're okay and i know sometimes they'll tell you mind your business don't worry about what i got going on and this is and that but if you really feel like okay this is out of the norm for them you're noticing signs you notice they're doing and saying things please check on them because even the strongest people have stuff going on that they're not willing to tell others. And in my opinion, I feel like, yes, you are strong. Yeah, you got it. But at the same time, have somebody to sit there and check on you and make sure you're good. It's never a bad thing to let somebody know that, hey, no, I'm not good. I need this time to myself or I need help and this, this, and that. It's not a bad thing. Never let your pride get in the way of you making sure that you're good or your friend's good, or your family's good. Like, you gotta make sure that the ones around you that support you and love you, that they're good just like you are, you know? So those were just a couple things to be mindful for. Today is Monday. I don't know if this is gonna be a full series that I'm gonna do, but I wanted to drop this so you guys could take these tips into consideration. A lot of these things I have done and will continue to start doing. Um, but I wanted you guys to have these as well because mental health is so important. I know a lot of people love to chuck it up and say that it's not a real thing. It's just made up. It's just people doing this and that. But no, mental health really is a thing. Depression, anxiety, every, all of that is a real thing. Coming from somebody that actually suffers from anxiety, I, I think I kind of know what I'm talking about here. Mental health is real just because you don't think you have it or you don't think that it's real does not mean that it's not real for the next person. So let me know in the comments if you think any of these tips were good. If you have more to add to it, go ahead. We can start a conversation about it. But to the gang, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all got a great Monday and I will see you guys next video.